local fishers are bringing this bay back to life. We have been experiencing the effects of overfishing for many years. Having a sanctuary in place, it allows for the population to expand and you're able to see not just the little teeny weeny fish, but good sized fish out there. Over the years, fishers in Orocabessa Bay, Jamaica, have had to venture farther out to sea to find fish. But what they increasingly found was bleached and dying corals, which many fish depend on. To improve the area, the fishers then partnered with GoldenEye Foundation to start the Orocabessa Bay Marine Trust, a marine conservation sanctuary. We have basically formalized this partnership through the establishment of the Orocabessa Bay Marine Trust, which is a charitable trust where the board is 50% foundation, 50% fishers. And that trust is designed to protect, restore, rehabilitate the marine space within the Arrokamesa Bay um, through our management of a marine protected area. Through the trust, fishermen are trained to be divers. Once trained, they then are able to manage restoration programs. The trust also patrols the water to combat destructive fishing practices. Where we do, um, we go to the, that colony, that dying colony, and we look for the best pieces of coral in that dying colony. And what we do now, we bring it to the nurse, we snip up that piece of coral in a small bit so that we can get much of it. And we put it up and make it grow. Within, within about um, six, seven months, three, eight months, then become adult size, like seven, eight inches in a diameter. And then these corals is brought back to the same reef and put back in the same area to continue the, you know, the growth. According to conservation news org Manga Bay, after 10 years of work, the area has shown significant improvement. According to reef surveys by Jamaica National Environment and Planning Agency, between 2013 and 2020, the fish population has increased 500% in Orocabessa Bay. The Orocabessa Bay Marine Trust is currently working to expand their operation along Jamaica's coastline and replicate their conservation model in four other locations.